Hey guys, it's Jill. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new here. So you guys really, really enjoyed my last Dump and Go crock pot meal video. So we are going to do it again with, I think I'm doing six. Or no, five. I'm doing five. So five all new Dump and Go crock pot meals. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, share this video, like this video. I already said that. Let's go ahead and get into Dump and Go meal number one. Okay, so for this meal, this is our first crock pot dump and go crock pot meal. We are having a kind of like a twist on a tomato soup. So first what you want to do is go ahead and brown up some Italian sausage. I had it here in a strainer over here in the sink so I could drain the grease. So you want to go ahead and brown that up. One pound of Italian sausage, ground Italian sausage. Put that in there. Then you want a can of 28 ounce a 28 ounce can of petite diced tomatoes, throw that in there. Then you want two cans of 10 and a quarter ounce cans of tomato soup. So just dump those in there. And then you want this full container of chicken broth, which I use the reduced sodium. So what I'm going to do actually so I can get all of this tomato soup out is go ahead and pour it into the cans and this is all you're going to need for now what you're gonna do is cook it on low for six to eight hours and then 30 minutes prior to we're gonna add some more stuff to this so I'll show you that when we get to it by the way this is the night before I prefer to make my crock pot meals the night before. Go ahead and just dump everything in, anything that I need to cut up or brown up or anything. So that way in the morning, all I have to do is literally put my crock pot out on the counter for it to come to room temperature and then I will put it in the base. So this is going in the fridge until tomorrow morning and I will see you guys 30 minutes before it's time to eat so I can show you what else we're gonna put in here. Okay, so it has been cooking on low all day. Just got home, so now I'm going to add in one package of cheese tortellini. And you're also going to add some cream cheese. Now it's said to add in two containers of these, so 16 ounces of the chive and onion cream cheese spread but when I did the macros, I just found it to be a little too high, especially since I couldn't find turkey sausage. So I'm just basically going to half, well, let's see. I could totally measure this out and weigh this out, but I honestly don't feel like it. So I'm just gonna like eyeball half of it, of this one. And then I wasn't sure if me and the kids were actually going to like the whole um, chive and onion. So I figured I would just do half of a regular third less fat cream cheese. So I'm going to cut this block in half, add that. Like I said, the recipe says to do two 8 ounces, so basically 16 ounces of cream cheese. I wanted to tell you guys that I highly, highly recommend this recipe. It was delicious, and this is definitely something that I'm going to make again and again and again. Okay, so it's been 30 minutes, so I'm just going to try to incorporate this cream cheese. In order for it to be like super creamy like it's supposed to, you probably do have to do like the whole 16 ounces. But like I said, I just found that to be a little too much fat and you know, we've got some creaminess, but I just wanna make sure that that cream cheese is incorporated and Basically, all you do is just put it in a bowl. This has six servings, by the way, so I say maybe like a cup to a cup and a half is a serving. So we're going to go ahead and enjoy this, and I will see you guys for Dump and Go meal number two tomorrow. So for Dump and Go crock pot meal number two, we are having something called crock pot Italian chicken. And all you're going to need are four chicken breasts. I only have three in here, but they're really big. 
So that like a pound and a half to two pounds of chicken breast, two cans of cream of chicken soup, one block of cream cheese. I always do the one third less fat. So you can do the full fat, but I actually prefer the taste of this. And then one packet of zesty Italian seasoning mix. And literally all you do is just dump all this stuff in and go. We're gonna cook it on low for four hours. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you like me dumping all of this in and putting the lid on, turn it on low, four hours, and we'll see how it looks after four hours. Okay, so it's been close to six hours. This is what it's looking like. It's definitely nice and yummy and bubbly. I'm just going to take this little thing right here. Um, someone did mention in my last one that you can take a hand mixer, and yes, you can. I do not have one, however, so this is the best thing for me. Um, the recipe also said that if the meat, no, if the sauce was a little thick, it said if the sauce was a little thick, just add some milk and it'll thin it out. So not sure how that's looking at this point. I'm just gonna go ahead and go to town in shredding up this chicken as much as I can with this little thing. And I'm also boiling some rotini right now on the stove. So by the time that's done boiling, I should be all done shredding up my chicken. All right, so this is what it looks like. <clears throat> Just in case you are watching your calories or counting your calories, by the way, I divided all of this into six servings. So one serving is one cup of just the chicken mixture itself. You wanna go ahead and do your extra portion of pasta to the side, but just in case you guys are counting calories, I wanted to put that notation out there. But yeah, this was incredibly easy. It's going to be incredibly incredibly delicious and I literally not only just made dinner for tonight but I also meal prepped every single lunch for next week. I'm just going to add some broccoli, some steam some broccoli and add it into this and that's going to be my lunch all week long. So yeah this is what dinner looks like and could not be easier. I'm loving these crock pot meals so I'm so glad that you guys are too. All right I will see you with crock pot meal number three tomorrow. Okay, so dump and go crock pot meal number three is ground beef and potatoes. It's like a potato au gratin type thing. What you're gonna need is half of a cup of chicken broth, one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of parsley, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of paprika, which I have right here in this little bowl. You're gonna need one pound of ground beef that's already browned. <clears throat> this I took out of the freezer last night. There's my half a cup of broth. You need one cup of diced onions. And then this right here, <clears throat> you're going to need to peel and cut up three pounds of potatoes, which again, I did last night. And in order for them to not turn brown, um, I covered them in water and just put this in the fridge. So that's a really good, huge time-saving tip. So when you get up in the morning and you're leaving before you go to work, you can literally just dump these potatoes in and you have them already prepped. So let's go ahead and just start dumping everything in. You do do it in layers. By the way, did I mention you need three cups of cheese? Because if I didn't, you need three cups of cheese. But yes, you kind of do it in layers and I'll show you that in just a minute. Okay, so first you wanna add half of the potatoes into the crock pot. Half of the seasoning. Half of the meat. and then half of the cheese. So one and a half cups of cheese go in this one right here. All 
By the way, I used the I used the two percent reduced fat cheese, so it can be a little lower in fat. Um, you do what's best for you and your family. Now you just repeat the same exact thing. And then you want to take your half a cup of chicken broth and just put that in there. Put the lid on, turn it on low, make sure it's plugged in because mine is not. Turn it on low, let it cook for four hours. The recipe does state do not take this lid off for any reason whatsoever because they claim that if you do, the potatoes will not get soft. So let this sit, do not touch it for four hours. So I will see you guys in four hours and show you what it looks like. So this took way longer than four hours. It actually took about six to seven, maybe eight hours. I can't really remember what time I put it on. This is just weird. I don't know, do you guys see how like, <clears throat> how much water or I guess I should say juice is in there. I'm sorry I didn't give you like the view of what it looked like with the cheese on top, but honestly, I'm just like, where did the cheese go? Like, I literally feel like it just disappeared. This is what the top looked like. Do you see the cheese on there? But the rest that I put throughout, where did it go? I don't know, I'm just feeling kinda eh about this one. <laughs> I kinda feel like at this point it's a fail, I don't know. There's just too much liquid in there, and I'm like, where's all the cheese? We'll see. I'll let you guys know. I'll plate it up, and I'll let you guys know how it tastes. Sorry about the fogginess. Okay, so I let it cool off, and as you can see, there's like still tons of juice. I would not recommend this meal whatsoever. Not at all. It's just, no. This is my plate. It's not pretty <laughs> at all. Again, I let it cool down. It's still just really juicy. I thought maybe if I let it cool down, the juice would thicken up and you would see more cheese and you would... I just see potatoes. Like, literally just see potatoes. This meal was just too much prep for what it tastes like and what it is. And I just thought it was going to be something completely different. So, unfortunately, I wouldn't recommend this. But I still do have some really yummy ones coming up. So, I will see you guys for tomorrow's Dump and Go crock pot meal. That will be a success, not like this one. For our next Dump and Go crock pot meal, this is one of my favorites. It is delicious and it's taco soup. There's many different ways to make this. Um, I've gone by a recipe and then I've also kind of added my own. So, you're going to need a can of beef broth, a can of black beans, a packet of taco seasoning can of kidney beans, a can of diced tomatoes, a can of corn, a can of rotel, one pound of ground beef browned up, a packet of ranch or three tablespoons out of this container, and then also a block of cream cheese. Delish. So you want to keep the liquid out of all of these cans except for the beans. So go ahead, drain those, and you're literally going to dump everything else in the crock pot and let's get to it. Okay, so now all you want to do, pop the lid on, turn it on low for, the recipe said four hours, but soup, I personally think you can let go as long as you want. The better it cook, the longer it cooks, the better it tastes. So it is currently like 12, so I'm probably going to let this cook for about six hours, so I will show you what it looks like when it's done. This is delicious. You all need to try this if you have not. It's, like I said, one of my favorite soups for sure. So this has been cooking, um, it's now 8.08. I've had a very, very, very busy day, so we are just now getting to eating dinner. 
but yeah like I said it doesn't have to cook for the just the four hours um, and I'm just going to go ahead and combine this cream cheese in with the soup and we're going to get to eating like I said this is one of my favorites and I highly recommend this this is super delicious oh I just got a whiff of it and my mouth is watering this is super delicious over some tortilla chips or with some tortilla chips crushed on top. Um, you can add some rice in here if you wanted to. You could have some, you know, dip some taco shells in there, top it with cheese, top it with sour cream. There's so many things you can do with this. So I'm going to keep incorporating this. I wish I would have incorporated this earlier because it's taking a minute to kind of melt on in. But yeah, I'm going to keep on incorporating this cream cheese into the taco soup and I'll show you what it looks like all pulled up. I mean, it literally is going to look just like this, but anyways, you guys like to see that, so I'm going to show it to you. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Just topped it with some cheese and some sour cream and I had the kids like all pretty with like just a little dab of, of um, cheese, but I was like, no, my, to make it look pretty for like you guys to see. And then I was like, no, they like to go... Oh, not overboard, but they like cheese a lot. So, I mean, who doesn't? I love cheese. So anyways, this is super delicious, and I cannot wait to go eat this. So I will see you guys with the next crock pot meal. Okay, so for this dump and go crock pot meal, it's actually the morning of work, and I'm so confident that I can get this done, even in a time crunch, because it's literally three ingredients. I've got some chicken thighs in my crock pot. What I usually do, is I will make my crock pot meals at night because I just don't have time in the morning but this is literally three ingredients so I mean it takes seconds so a jar of grape jelly and then a jar of chili sauce now if you guys saw my other by the way you're just gonna dump it in but if you guys saw my other crock pot meal video you guys saw that I did this with meatballs and then a lovely subscriber Thank you to Nicole. She told me, hey girl, like, why don't you try that with chicken? Or I think she mentioned something else, but I was like, oh my gosh, that sounds delicious. So yeah, we're gonna try a little grape jelly meatball <laughs> recipe and make it into grape jelly chicken thighs. So I'm so excited to try this. Thank you again so much for your recommendation. By the way, if you guys ever have recommendations, please leave them in the comments down below and I will try them out because I find most of them on, I find most of my recipes on Pinterest or just from talking to people and just from like having a crock pot for so long, just, you know, having some go-to recipes, but I also love to add a, you know, kind of switch it up a little bit. So that's it. Literally took me seconds. I mean, it probably took me like two minutes, but seriously, put it on low, let it cook for eight hours, and <clears throat> when I get home from dinner, or when I get home from work, I'm going to have me a delicious, yummy dinner. So, I will show you what this looks like at the end of the day. So, I will show you what this looks like when I get home from work, and also what I'm going to have as sides. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Um, obviously, I've already taken um, some chicken out, but OMG, Nicole, thank you so much for this recipe. You guys need to try this. It is so good, and this is definitely going to be a new favorite as well. This is my plate plated up. There's the chicken. I just have some mashed potatoes, which is just like super easy, like microwave mashed potatoes. And this is actually like leftovers from my lunch. I've got some Brussels sprouts and some asparagus. So that's my dinner. And then my son's dinner is right there. They are eating ramen noodles with theirs and then my daughter's plate. So that is what this, this dump and go crock pot meal looks like. And we're gonna go enjoy this because it is super delicious and I'm super excited for this dinner. So I have one more dump and go crock pot meal to show you guys. So I will see you again. Okay, so for our last Dump and Go crock pot meal, this is so delicious and I'm actually going to make this into tacos. Me and the kids love this so much and it's basically like queso chicken. Oh my gosh, it's so good. So you're just going to need some chicken breast, a packet of taco seasoning, can of Rotel. 
can of green chilies. And you're gonna need one cup of chicken broth. Since I'm actually gonna be gone all day and I can't keep an eye on my crock pot, I am going to add the whole can because when I get home, you kind of have to like drain the excess, excess liquid anyways. So I figure better safe than sorry. This crock pot does cook pretty hot on, pre, on like a high. This, do, this crock pot does cook pretty high, so I just don't want my chicken to dry out. But if you can keep an eye on it and you're home throughout the day or you make this on a weekend, go ahead and just use one cup of the broth. So let's go ahead and dump all of this in the crock pot. I'm looking, that may have been a mistake to put in a whole can of chicken broth, but we'll see, we'll see. How many cups is in here? Oh, it just says one can, 411 grams. But yeah, um, we are also going to be adding this. We're also gonna be adding this, but I will show you guys. You add this 30 minutes before you're ready to serve, and then I'll also show you guys what the tacos look like because they are amazing. We're gonna bake them. And they're gonna be delicious so yeah we just cook this on low um, for eight hours and I will show you guys what it looks like before we put in the salsa con queso because I want to show you how much liquid I have and then show you um, draining it and all that stuff okay so I just got home from work and this is what it looks like y'all it smells delicious in here so what you want to do is go ahead and um, shred up your chicken So I'm just going to take, like I said, some of this liquid and just kind of start taking it out. So that looks about good. There's not too much liquid left in there. Now you're going to take this. Oh my gosh, I love this so much. Now the recipe calls for like three-fourths of the container, but y'all, mmm, I love it so much that so I go ahead and put all of it in there. And yeah, it might make it a little more like liquidy again, but it's delicious. And I'm going to make this into taco shells, or I'm going to put this into taco shells, bake them, and they are absolutely delicious. So at this point, you wanna go ahead and turn it up on high and set a timer for 30 minutes, and in 30 minutes, this will be done. You could also serve this over rice. That would be delicious as well. So, I'm going to go ahead and let this sit for 30 minutes and then I'll show you what the tacos look like. Okay, so this is what it should look like. Doesn't it look delicious? If you guys want it less soupy, like I said, you can totally take more of that liquid out. But I personally like it like this because I'm going to serve it over rice tomorrow and that's just like the perfect consistency for me. Um, but today, I just put it in some taco shells and I put some cheese over the top. I've got my oven on 350 so I'm going to pop these in the oven at 350 <laughs> for about maybe 10 minutes and I will show you what they look like I'll plate it up and put some lettuce and some sour cream and deliciousness on there so I'll see you in a bit okay so this is what they look like I'm so excited these are delicious you guys you have to try this recipe if you have not yet and like I said, put them in taco shells, put it over rice. It is delicious either way. Heck, eat it as a keto recipe by itself with no carbs. It's delicious. Um, that one is mine because the kids don't like sour cream. That one is one of the kids and that's the other one. So yeah, by the way, I put, the, I put them in the oven for only five minutes. So this will do it for all of the crock pot meals. Okay, so that will do it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed. I think there was a total of six. Um, I'm definitely working on another one, so stay tuned for sure because these, you guys, not only are they helping you, but they have been a huge, humongous lifesaver for me to be able to come home from work and have a nice, delicious meal all prepared, 
with very little like extra things to have to do whether it be like heating up some vegetables or just adding a couple of things here and there huge lifesaver huge time saver so again I'm definitely going to be keeping these up and I'm just doing it for myself and filming it for you guys so if you guys do see some things because I noticed some comments in the last one where it was like are these like experimental well I'm about to fall are these like experimental um recipes and I'm like I'm just cooking like everyone else would I'm going on Pinterest I'm googling stuff I'm finding recipes I'm thinking of my own recipes that I have that are tried and true and that I love and I'm just sharing it with you guys so if some of them happen to be fails the reason why or like fails according to me the reason why I leave them in here is because they might not be a fail for you. Just like the potato, the only one, the, the reason why I'm saying this is because off the top of my head, the potato and the ground beef and the cheese one, that one wasn't that great. And it was because I was expecting something completely different. It was basically just potatoes and I don't know where the cheese went. I was like, where did the cheese go? So to me, I think it would have been better just to make the cheese or the potatoes <clears throat> with the ground beef in the crock pot and then to just cover it with some cheese that would have been like my preferred method so if I ever do something like that again that was also the one that made that that was also the one that required the most prep work as well so you know take these recipes take them and do them how I do them um, experiment with me cook with me I mean you guys this it's your kitchen you do what you want in your kitchen if a ingredient doesn't appeal to you leave it out if you want to add something add it in share your suggestions down below you guys have been and i highly appreciate it so much i love you guys so much and i look forward to seeing you in the next crock pot video and let me know of any suggestions anything that you guys want to see me try or any crock pot meals that you guys love leave them in the comments down below i would love to hear from you guys i love you don't forget to like this video if you guys are new here don't forget to subscribe and share this video. I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!